Hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all the geeks out there and other geeks. <clears throat> and guess what? <clears throat> other than me choking myself, we have something special in this box. What's in the box? You won't, you won't know what's in the box because they've taken the name off, which is very clever. What's in the box? Let's see, shall we? So, let's dive in. Some of you will already know what it is. You may have received it yourselves. But it didn't come scribbled, we scribbled on it. Yes. But most of you won't know because most of you are from the south of A. In other words, the south of asses. <laughs> right, look back over again. Let us show you what's in the box. A piece of paper. Attention! If you can't figure it out by now, I can't help you. It's right there. It says valve over here. What what comes in cases like this, guys? Well, it says that on the name. <laughs> I know. That's why I said you guys have to know what it is by now. It's not a Steam Deck. It's just the case. We've had Steam Decks for ages. We've had a Steam Deck for ages. It's just a new case. I joke, I joke, I kid, I kid. This is actually the Steam Deck. It comes pre-packaged in this case, which is quite cool. If you guys hear anything, <coughs> it's just like cat killing things. That's pretty cool, actually, this carrier case. So, what you do is you open it up, and just like that, voila! See, my fingers are magic. See, it says valve on it. It's quite cool. Even though it falls out of there. Your games are going They are. Check, 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 check. We're going to show you what the Steam Deck looks like. This is actually very big. Yeah. Look at the sorry. Look at the size of this console. This is look at the Tiffy's reflection in the screen. This is huge. It's massive. My hand for comparison. Yeah, Kiz's hand for comparison. Oh, better, better comparison. Kiz's grab your, hand grab your switch. You want to see the difference between the, the, the Steam Deck and the Switch? Here you go. Not much difference. Oh, there's a big difference, Angel. Screen size, everything. It's huge. Big difference. <laughs> and there you go, guys. The Steam Deck. We have our very own Steam Deck. We're going to be playing lots of Steam games. It doesn't sound so excited. Oh, I'm very excited. And it's even got a little little logo, Steam logo on it. Well, Steam Deck logo on it. It's really cool. Yeah. Stay tuned for what it's, it's switching on, etc, etc, etc. Oh, you can do that now if you want to. Put the thing on now. This is my first time trying this, so bear with me. I've never done this before. I don't know how these things work. I must admit, these controllers are, this controller is really comfortable. In comparison with the uh, Nintendo Switch, I like this. Um, it feels it feels more comfortable in my hands. Um, and, I mean, it's huge. It is big. But at the end of the day, being big means that it's got more controls. You can see that there are multiple controls. You've got there, 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 there. Move your fingers. There, 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 and there. So you got your normal L2, R2, uh, L1, R1, but then you've also got these buttons over here. So clearly they've built this enough for you to be able to play lots of games. You've got your touchpads over here, which are basically mouses, which is quite cool. Your Steam button, your options button, another options button, and it's what looks like a screenshot button over here. I'm not sure, but there's another options button over there. So we're going to put the power on and see how this works, shall we? If it is charged, that is. If the battery's dead, you're gonna have to wait. I think the battery may be dead because I don't see anything. You guys are just gonna have to wait for me to put <laughs> For you, it'll be a couple of seconds. For me, a couple of hours. <laughs> okay, so it's powering on somewhat. Um, it isn't really powering on, it's just charging at the moment. But if you, it's, it's really cool if you touch these track pads, it actually has haptic feedback. So you can feel, you have to hold it in your hand. You have to hold it in your hand. You have to hold it in your hand. You can't see it, but you can feel it. It's quite cool, actually. So we're gonna power it on while it's charging. Hopefully it'll, it'll power on nicely. Or turn off. Eventually. Just to show there is a touch screen, I want to show you what he's doing. He's putting in our interwebs information. There you go. All right, so it is updating at the moment. 
for us, it's going to take four minutes. For you, it's going to take just a couple of seconds. Because in three, two, one, boom! Angry cat. There you go. How cool is that? Right, you guys can bugger off and put my password and stuff in. All right, so it says, welcome to Steam Deck. Before you start playing, let's take a quick tour of the device. Woo! Right, continuing, we press or tap the screen. This is the Steam button. To access your library, store settings, store settings and more, press and hold to view, to hold to view Steam button shortcuts. Hold. Oh, there you go. Long press. Force game shutdown. Show keyboard. Hmm, there's quite a lot of stuff you can do. Hmm, how's that for you? Nice. Then you do that to do that. This is the quick access button. Press to quickly view notifications and notifications, friends, list, and quick settings and more. And that's the three dots. Up here is the power button. Once you sus once you suspend or press once to suspend or resume Steam Deck, and press and hold to access the power menu. I'm not going to do that now. Over here are the volume buttons. I'm sorry, the reflection is part of the screen. There's no anti glare thing on this one. Um, over here are the volume buttons. Press or hold to adjust the Steam Deck's volume. Last of all. Down below is the micro SD slot. Expand your deck storage by inserting and formatting a micro SD card. Push the card in to eject. And that's this little thingy over here. Right? That's pretty cool because I can get a one terabyte for like 60 pounds. And have fun. We hope you enjoy your Steam Deck. If you would like to see this tour again, you can access it from the quick access menu. Help replay guide tour. Press any button to tap. Now this is going to go into my library, as you can see. Lots of games, and only a few of them are playable, actually. If I try and install them, it won't work. Uh, Fable is new to my library, so I'll show you what I mean. So let's go Scum, for example. It will install. But Steam Deck compatibility. Valve testing indicates Scum is unsupported on the Steam Deck. Some or all of this game currently does not function on the Steam Deck. So we're going to cancel that just because I don't want to actually waste my time. But how is that? That is the Steam Deck. The basics of the Steam Deck. Apparently you can get into the operating system as well. I'll figure that one out as I go along. I haven't played this game. No, I haven't played this game. Haven't worked with this yet. So once I know what's going on. Guys, thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of what can only be said is a happy day for me. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy, guys. We'll chat to you again soon. Bye. Professor Mew has a question to ask. He wants to know how he wants to know should we unbox, do an unboxing video of what is in the box? Should we do it? Yeah? No? Well, maybe?